Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. As you can see, we are once again joined by the man that is the one, the only, the balloon celebrity that is Mr. Chris Horn from Amscom. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's going to get bigger every time. It's going to be silly, this. <laughs> anyway, Chris Horn's back. Chris, hello. Hello, Thank Greg. you for coming. You're welcome. <laughs> hello, Greg, he says. Um, <laughs> anyway, today Chris is, I don't know what he's going to do. Chris, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to have a go at putting some confetti into one of the Crystal clear, Clears balloons. Okay. Um, because you can't do it using static electricity. Okay. Um, so, you know, what most people are used to when you put confetti or feathers or glitter or whatever into a balloon, rub it over, static holds it in place. Doesn't work with the clears. All right. Something to do with the, the composition of the film, I think. Um, but it just, I try as I might, I cannot generate any static inside yeah. one of these at all. All right. Um, it does have an upside in as much as you doesn't pick up bits from the carpet or anything else yeah. um, so you know there's a there's definitely a positive but when it comes to sticking stuff around it um, you can't do it unless you use high float yeah so that's what we're going to do um, so first of all let's get the valve out of the balloon and uh, there is a BMTV balloon basics on how to do this there is so. Very clever little technique <laughs> and fun. I like that. Pinch, remove that, and squeeze. <laughs> Love it. It's working so lots. childish. Yeah, I know. It's wonderful. Lucky okay. Cushion. <laughs> squeeze the air out of the balloon. Um, so that you can get the high float in effectively there we go and then use plenty of high float um, if you want this to remain clear and look good mm. then you do need to make sure that you use enough high float if you don't use enough it's too thin and it will go cloudy yeah okay um, so you need to to really almost overdo it you, you put in more than you might think so I use the orange clip which is the one recommended for 11 inch 11 balloons inch. I was going to say it was 11 inch yeah and then use two full squirts and put them into the middle of the balloon like so I'll just put that back on again so we don't make a nasty mess of the table yeah Right, so the high floats here in the center, or roughly in the center um, of the balloon, and then we need to spread it, and it needs to be spread nice and evenly across the whole internal surface of the balloon. The best way of doing that, I've found, is to use a squeegee. So you wouldn't want to just scrunch it all no, up? No, because it, it, you get all the blobs and streaks and, okay. and everything. So if you use a squeegee, you can spread it out, and it stays nice and clear. Uh, all the way around, pulling it out from the center towards the edge and then go all the way around the edge and do your very best to make sure you haven't missed a bit because obviously if you've missed a bit then the confetti or the glitter or whatever it is that you're putting in there isn't going to stick. So there'll be a gap. Yeah, and try also to avoid putting it into the neck. But spread it around nice and How do you know when you've covered everywhere? Because now that just looks clear to me. Yeah, and that's kind of the secret. Uh, because if there is a, a, a bare bit, it, it's a slightly different colour. Okay. Um, not so clear. What you can do is obviously hold it up and peer through it. Um, and you should be able to see any bits that have been missed. And then the other sort of possible, the other sort of fail safe is if you inflate it a little bit, when the two halves peel apart, you should then be able to see any any bald bits, any missed pieces. So we'll just try that. But just if, to, if you're not sure, just keep on doing it for a bit longer. Yeah, just keep going. But you obviously don't want to spend half an hour doing it yeah. because then any profit that you might make out of the design has gone out the window. But let's just, just huff that up a bit and have a look. Oh yeah. And you would see very clearly any pieces that didn't have high float. What I have seen is that it's actually quite thick here. Yeah. So it might be worth just spreading that a bit thinner. Just pull it a bit further up into the middle. Okay, that should be fine. So, 
I'm now going to inflate the balloon again, just with a, you could do it with air for the moment. Ah, this little label here. Yeah. I'm going to tie the balloon afterwards. Okay. So this will get in the way. So I'm going to take it off. It just peels off ever so easily. That's just a little adhesive label that yeah. says... It's got the brand on it. Put your glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> right, so open the balloon with a little bit of air. You get your balloon neck stretching tool and put it in like so. And then there's something else I should have done in advance but didn't. So I'll get you to tackle that one. Okay. I didn't open the confetti. Okay, I can open the confetti. So how much confetti do we <laughs> I'm going to use half that packet. It's a, a 50 gram pack of Actually, metallic confetti. Like, yeah, just cut that, it in half. I could go horribly mm. wrong. Um, 50 gram pack of, of metallic confetti. Inflated to 22 inches, oh, a crystal clear balloon will lift about 85 grams. I'm probably not going to push it all the way to oh, 22. Chris, I, I'm incompetent even just opening <laughs> some confetti. Do you want me no, to no, just, no, no, just chuck it in? So that's about half. That'll be fine. Throw it in there. You don't want this. You can put it in if you like. Oh, see, I've dropped oh, it. I'm going to have to put it in there. That's what's yeah, right. between the two of us, we're doing ever so well. <laughs> <laughs> this is take 17 as well. So, so I've put, <laughs> I put roughly half the pack. So round about 25 to 30 grams of confetti okay. in there. Okay, now we inflate it, this time with helium because we do want it to fly. I'm going to use the oh, it's really gas nice. to throw it around a little bit. I've only taken it to where the wrinkles have disappeared because now I can shake it and pat it to spread the confetti as evenly as I can. So what colour is this? The light pink This is the pink. dark pink. That's really nice. That it effect. is, isn't it? Yeah. Because whilst it's pink, behind us you can see it's definitely pink. Yeah. But when you put it with rose gold, it becomes rose gold. Yeah, yeah, that's lovely. Okay. I've put the rose gold confetti inside the dark pink clears. Now, as we inflate it more, the confetti that is stuck will just spread further and further and further apart. So yeah. it will stay evenly spread. Any loose bits, you can direct to fill in yeah. any gaps and then they'll stick where they touch. Go carefully. Crystal clears are very strong and they're not easily pierced, but they are easily cut. So the edge of these discs, if they're whizzing round too fast, okay. could slice the balloon open. So just go carefully. Can you use paper confetti in there as well? Yeah, you just have to go a bit quicker. Okay. Because high float and paper confetti don't go together that well. Yeah. Um, so if you leave it too long in between all the various stages, yeah. then it would clump. But with the metallic confetti, not so. Now they're all stuck now. We've got a nice even spread. So you used, the, you used the high float there. Yeah, but you can't uh, see it, can you? No, no, not really at all. It's really very clear. But I guess the little bits I can see, it's probably just going to dry out. Is that yes. right? Yes. Within an, an hour, as it dries, that's going to become clear again. But is that still going to extend the float life? Even yeah. though you don't need it particularly, yep. that's still going to do the job I've of high float. I've got one in the showroom that's been inflated for nearly six months. Yeah. Um, and it's still flying. Wow. It's, it's mad. So you've not topped it up? No. Wow. It's smaller now, yeah, and it's probably about the size of the blue one, about 18 yeah. inches, but it's still flying really strongly. That's amazing. Okay. So really sparkly. Now, I, I want to tie this. Yeah. You can twist it round and round and round, use a modelling balloon to, to tie it off, um, but you can just as easily tie it. So just get hold of it there and gently, don't snatch, but gently pull. And that will stretch right out like that. And then you can tie it like a latex balloon. So if you do snatch it, that could potentially you break could it. You pull it off, yes. Okay. Yeah. But if you gently pull, you get a nice long neck that you can tie perfectly like, oh, yeah. a, like yeah. a latex and it makes a perfect seal. Yeah. So that will sit there now for a long time. I'm just going to set it slightly to one side there because I want to make the bow and whatever that we're going to fly it on so a little bit of rose gold curling ribbon some organza yep. rose gold organza i'm going to make a loop 
and another loop and I'm going to tie that around with the curling ribbon there thank you you have to use my teeth the day that I have to wear dentures is the day I retire <laughs> <laughs> I cannot manage <laughs> without the, my third hand. <laughs> okay, so we've got a, a, a nice bow tied around with a piece of curling ribbon. I'll just trim the end of that to make it look a bit tidier. And then we'll do a similar thing at the other end. So where, where we, we have to keep it short because the ceiling's not massively high. Yeah. So we'll just keep it short so that it does at least fit in. So once again, another bow. Two loops, cut off the piece that you don't need. Thank you, if you can put a bit of tension on that, that's better. And then once again, tie it round with the curling ribbon. And then I can tie one into the weight, one into the balloon, and job's done. So, oops, missed. Yeah, I really like that rose gold confetti in that balloon, that's lovely. It's stunning, isn't it? I did yeah. do, put it in the clear one, and it looks lovely in the clear one. Yeah. But I thought I'd try it in the colour, and it really does enhance it yeah. a lot. Right, so here, with the, this one, I'm going to tie this around the neck of the weight. Like so. A couple of curls. And then... I've got a cluster of five inch rose gold latex. You know they're all different sizes. Yeah, I do, yeah. yeah I've been at it so long and I still can't get it right. <laughs> it's organic, Greg, it's organic. All oh, right, of course it is, of course it is. <laughs> Chris Horn, of course it's organic. What yeah. was I thinking? <laughs> and let's pull those through there. So I've got the, the ribbon coming up through the center, a couple of loops. And then this ties round the neck of the balloon, which is still up here, mercifully. And then I shall put another little cluster of latex on and that's it. That's huge. Massive, isn't it? And you consider that's the same size, the same balloon as the blue one behind us. Yeah. It just, it, it's huge. It, that's, that is one of the big beauties of these for me, is that you only need one balloon, but you have, Oops, need to tie it a bit better than that, Chris. Come on. You have the option to inflate it to many different sizes. Yeah. Um, and I suppose, you know, growing up as I did and starting off using more latex than anything else, that's why it appeals, because they do behave much like latex balloons. Yeah. They, they stretch in a similar way. They, you know... Um, so you can have one balloon and make it any size you like. The, the beauty of these is, of course, that they're very, very clear. Nice, good size. They don't degrade. They don't go cloudy. Well, it seems like yesterday that you were showing us how to put things inside an orbs balloon, a clear yeah. orbs balloon. And we asked the question of the week, which, by the way, I'm preparing you for now. Oh. question of the week was, um, is, it, is it clear enough? And clearly it wasn't clear enough. And no, these are. <laughs> these are very, very clear, aren't they? Even with high float. Now, I wouldn't recommend just high floating and leaving it like that because yeah. you will see it. But if you've got something like confetti in there, it distracts the eye from the bits in between and, yeah. and you're not going to notice no, that's that. That's lovely. Let's say within, within half an hour or so, when that high float is fully dry, it disappears and it's... Uh, All right, perfect. Yeah. Well, there you go. Let's put this down here. And Chris, as you know, as a guest on BMTV, you're lucky enough to ask the BMTV nation the question of the week. Thank you. So <laughs> you're very welcome. <laughs> so what question would you like to ask everybody out there? Right. Um, I'll switch it a little bit and ask. I'll ask a question, but it'll be I'm asking for suggestions. Oh, OK. Because I've been working with these for a while now. I was fortunate enough to be sent advanced samples so I could play with them before they launched. Yeah. And I've had lots and lots and lots of ideas, still getting ideas and thinking of things. But I would like to know if there's a way that you guys out there can suggest using these that I might not have thought of. Oh. So what's your idea for using the Crystal Clears? Oh, Chris Horn is asking for some ideas. 
So what ideas have you got that Chris can have a play with? Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Chris, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next time. Bye-bye.